Hey everybody, the bong is back. Welcome to part 2 of Let's Play Luigi's Mansion, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, in the last episode, we finally entered this haunted mansion and picked up the Poltergeist 3000 for Professor E. Gad. Now it's up to us to try to find Mario in this strange mansion and capture any ghosts along the way. Which, of course, we can't go through here. Hmm. I can, however, go through here. Wow, that's a lot more money. I will take it. Take all the money. Take all the inheritance for myself. Even the sheets. I will take them as well. And sometimes, if you knock into like drawers and stuff, you could find even more money. Pretty cool, huh? You're gonna be rich by the time you finish this game. Mario could just buy a new brother. For some reason, there's Monopoly money as well. I don't know why that's the case. Is there anything of significance here? Let me just try to suck up the purple flames. Oh, here we go. Who put out my candles? You, Mr. Lime Green? Well, dark rooms are dangerous right here, yes? They love the dark, and now they will get you, Blue! Now you're in for Black Ark! Just like little Red Cap before you. May you wander lost in the darkness forever! Are you afraid of the dark, little man? Are you, huh? Blah! Here they are now! Oh shit. That's okay. I'll just suck them up as well. They will fear me, the great Ouija! Here we go. Just keep waiting for them to be exposed, and then suck them up. Suck them real good. I'm probably going to be making a lot of fellatio jokes as a result of this, because, you know, my main weapon is a vacuum cleaner. And if you clear out all the ghosts, it'll light up, and sometimes you can get a key. Such is the case here. This definitely looks like a key from one of those Price is Right games. Okay, and it's telling me that the door I need to unlock is, well, in the same room I'm in. Anything in there? No. How about by this lamp? Oh, who hides money in a lamp? No wonder this place is haunted. It's full of idiots. I would not put money in there. It's just going to be stolen by some dude with a green cap. Hmm. And now it's dark again. Hmm. I'm in the ante room. Go. Just keep it up and then they'll all be gone. This one has 20 HP! It just means you suck them even longer! Uh oh. Oh! One of them can still attack me! Let me go for the money first. And then I'll go for the ghost. Oh damn it, I got hit. And I only have like a hundred health. And if you get hit, you can lose some coins. So if you're trying for like a perfect run, don't get hit at all. And sometimes, I mean, it can be just a total cheap shot, because while you're trying to suck in a ghost, the other one will hit you. And that makes it a total pain in the balls to deal with. But if you can take out the weaker ones as soon as possible, you'll have a much greater chance to avoid damage. Okay, now let's look in these jars. I might find something useful, like more money. Because you now Luigi always wants money. He's a greedy old bastard, that's what he is. Okay, another room of darkness. Okay, when you find these ghosts, the blue ones, they will actually give you a lot of stuff, provided you catch them. But remember, they only appear once in that particular room. And I think that one got away, all because of this asshole. So if you miss out on the blue ghost, that's too bad. It's not going to show up again. And I could have gotten him as well. Had it not been for the dickwad from earlier. Oh god, a green one. These have like 40 HP, and will actually try to make you slip. Where'd you go? 
I don't want any of your banana peel shit around me. When you think you're about to walk by a banana peel, just let go of her. Avoid the damage that way. God. Get him! Beautiful. Get some hearts over there. That's a small one. But I got like 10 bits of health for that. I think I have to shine the green guy a little bit longer. Beautiful. So yeah, I missed out on the uh, fast blue ghost. Now if I would have caught him, I would have got like a lot of money for it. You'll find him in other rooms and only when the place is still dark. So I missed out on that opportunity all because of Jerkwad over there that stopped me, oh crap. Actually, this could be good. No other ghouls were showing up. Oh, there's a key over there. I want it. Nice. Who needs jumping when you can just do it the lazy way? I mean, it's freaking Luigi for crying out loud. He jumps higher than Mario. But I can't take the hats for myself. Oh, yeah. Or the boots. I'd imagine they'd be quite expensive, and yeah. Sometimes it's a good idea to vacuum mm -hmm. doors as well, just to see if they're real. What the hell are you doing? Yes, I know. You feel so much better now, for, for the time being. Did you really look everywhere? I'm pretty sure you just stayed in this balcony the whole time. And just another toad that you can use to save the game if you so choose. I might as well do that. Right, now it's time to head back. Just to make things a little faster. Look at Luigi take a picture of himself. At least he's not using duck face. He got class. Then again, this game was 2001 before the whole duck face crap phenomenon. Okay, what door should I open next? Oh yeah, it's on the second floor, so I have to go through here. And then go left. Gotcha. No, wait, it's over here, I believe. Huh? Hmm? Hold up a sec, Luigi. It's me, Professor E. Ged. I detect spirits stronger than we've met. We've yet seen lurking ahead. I think it must be some of those escaped gallery ghosts. You should know that they're really different from the other ghosts you've seen so far. They don't show in their hearts very easily. Nope, not at all. When you find one, you should first use the X button to first search, it, search its heart for clues. Sometimes you can learn the best way to surprise them. Well, Luigi, I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. Spoilers, he doesn't cross his fingers ever in the game. And if he does, nobody cares. Ah, what the hell? Ghost mice. They actually lurk around in this game, too. Okay, that's a real door. Now, is this where I want to go? What the? Books! Gotta be careful with the books. They'll try to hurt ya. Damn reading! Okay, there's one of those blue ghosts again. Did he get away? Oh, that's shitty. Yeah, I think when as soon as you show your light on them, that's when they actually get away. And you have to be very fast to suck them in. So I botched that one as well, but then again, I don't really care for 100%. There's a book of riddles. Will you read it? Okay. Mysteries appear wherever people turn, but turning away from them solves nothing. Instead of turning away, turn to the side and look at the mystery from a different view. A way will surely open. You found Neville's Big Baby Care Diary. Okay, I'll read. My third son is still a baby. Oddly enough, he seems to scare people in ways the other two never did. The twins now... They're afraid of fire, water, cold, and wind. Why, they shake with fright when beset by the elements. Sometimes I think they're more childlike than the baby. Hmm. I'll probably have to keep that in mind for later. Huh, <laughs> glass ship. Would be a shame if I broke it. That guy doesn't care. 
Darkness is their cheese. Ghost mice are drawn to darkness as real mice are drawn to cheese. In the dark, they shine gold with contentment. I must try to get close to one before the lights come back on. See Parmesan. <laughs> get it? You found the Book of Pericles. Or Pericles. There are spirits known as elemental ghosts. They live in the elements of fire, water, and ice that make up much of our world. To handle these elements, one must first obtain an element metal. Perhaps the elemental ghosts are only visible to the bearer of such a metal. Oh, that's going to be something for later on in the game, I suppose. Egad's Guide to Ghosts. He never really knew of this place, and yet one of his books is here. Dear readers, we've all had trouble with ghosts who aren't easily surprised, right? They have all sorts of ways to protect themselves from light. What would you do, bright folks, when in a fix with one of those stubborn ghouls? Well, sir, I'd first look for an opening. A way to catch them off guard and unsettle them. When a ghost is surprised and shows you its heart, that's your chance to catch the little bugger. I tell you, I've got dozens of ghosts just like this. None of them gallery ghosts, I assume. You saw they're all missing. And that's one of them right there. Hmm, gotta wait for an opening. Like so. Oh, wait. Hmm. Can I use my Game Boy Player here? Yes, I can. Or Game Boy Horror. Oh, ho, ho, ho! Go ahead. Try to find me. I can see you, but you cannot see me. Ho, 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 ho! Another clue? Nope, same thing. Alright, we gotta try to come up with a different kind of scheme. Looks like he's reading. Oh, there's my chance! He was yawning, and that exposed his heart. Usually gallery ghosts, whenever you try to suck them in, they release pearls. But that's not the only thing they release. They also release these poison shrooms that'll make you small for a few seconds and disable your poltergust. Oh my god, don't try to suck them in. The pearls also have a little bit of monetary purpose, so try to suck them in as well, or collect them. It must be a very boring book if you yawn every single time you read it. Just put it down, man! Also, the thing about the cheese, you gotta try to look for that in the dark as well to get the gold mice. If you find a gold mouse, suck it in, you'll get a lot more money. I'm not going to show every single one, because chances are I'll miss a couple. I never really cared for the money, I just cared about beating the game. In any case, at least we got one gallery ghost. Now where's the door I need to go through? Uh, let's see... Ah, it's over here. But these ghosts don't really matter, the ghost mice. Just try to suck them in, in case they're in the way. Like so, and we'll go in here. Oh, what's this? This would sh this would sure fetch a pretty penny. What is this? Storage Wars now? Okay, there's another one of those gallery ghosts. Isn't my hair just gorgeous? Of course, I do spend a lot of time on it. I was so bored cooped up in that painting. Now I spend all my time in front of the mirror. It seems to scare people, though, so everything is coming up roses. There's another woman that always cares about herself. Can I do anything with the bed? Ha, <laughs> hump the bed. Ooh, gold bar. Well, that's more than a pretty penny, let me tell you that much right now. She won't expose her heart that easily, so I have to find a way to make it happen. What if I just made a little draft? Oh, you don't like the draft, huh? It's good news for me! Now, nah, let me suck you real good, bitch. Uh oh, poison mushroom! Sometimes it's a good idea to just take your time. You don't have to do it all in one go. You're only just going to create a greater risk for yourself. Huh. 
Fine, bitch, let's do it this way. You don't like it, huh? Too bad! I don't like your presence. And I take greater precedence over you. Whether you like it or not. I would consider this more of a casual LP of Luigi's Mansion rather than a full walkthrough. Because having to do everything right and then reset if you botch it, that's just too much pressure. It's not my style. You've known that for a long time. Hmm. Hmm, something is going on over there. And I have a feeling that's where I need to go next. Well, I just got the key for there, which is good. Oh, good, some health. That's good, now I'm back to full. Oh, that must be the baby over there. Horsey! Rocky! Horsey! What? Horsey, Rocky, Horsey. Could that be some kind of clue? Mario! Like, Mario, can you hop the horse? Get the horse rocking. Ah, there we go. Now I get it. Hey! Wanna play with me? Uh, no? This is not nice! A ball! Got an idea? No, that's not that. I was supposed to, like, uh, release the ball back at him. Like so. You don't like me, huh, baby? I play rough. Ow! You gave me an owie! I just wanted to play with you. I hate grown-ups! Why do you have to be bigger than me? Because I've grown, and you haven't. I've had enough! Small! No, go smaller! Small, itsy, tiny, little, wee! Ga -ga 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 -ga. Well, screw you too, baby! That's it, I'm getting my tubes tied after this. They're all gonna be like this to me. Oh man, this is starting to get real freaky. So right now we got the first official boss of the game, and it's a baby. This is gonna be real fun. Looks like I just had to avoid the rocking horses. And I can't use my flashlight, either. Looks like I have to wait for something, probably a ball? Like so? One of those balls is gonna linger around, and then I can release it back at him! You take balls to the face just like your mother, am I right? Now, eventually, it does release on its own, and then you have to do this again. I think it gets a bit tougher with the amount of damage that you do. Oh, dear God. A stop move. Uh, this is not good, and I got hit! I think I might have lost a coin or two. Luckily, the horse just tries to go in a straight line. So try to cross its path as soon as possible, and then it'll go. Oh, here come the balls again. Okay, that's the one I'm gonna take. We're gonna have so much fun with that rattle. And I'm having so much fun sucking a baby up. Oh god, there comes the cops. It's not the right context, man! You know what I'm talking about playing Luigi's Mansion! Okay, now she, he's probably gonna do that stomp move again. Sometimes it's hard to dodge because he moves so fast. But if you, as long as you're under him, just get to the other side, you should be all right. I'm gonna guess you're just gonna release more horses. Okay, can you come up with something different? You're a bit one-dimensional. You're a baby for crying out loud. You're supposed to have like a ton of ideas. Like your brains are just going all over the place.
Granted, you being a ghost means that your brain's likely not getting any use. Oh, come on, suck the ball, Luigi. Not! Wrong way. Luigi, you gotta do, like, better work with your balls, man. You need better aim. Okay, apparently that's in a fixed pattern where those horses are gonna go. That's okay, I didn't take that much damage. Next time you see that wave, just go in the middle. Get better. That's good. Now this should be the finishing blow right here. Yeah! Sucking babies like a boss! That does not sound right. Well, that's a big chest. That's a very special key. Huh? Luigi! Luigi! Can you hear me? Oh, thank goodness you're okay. All this contact with you all of a sudden. I was a tad worried. Hmm. You seem to be a bit tuckered out after that long battle, don't you? What? How did you know I had a battle? Why don't you come on back to the lab? When you vacuum a boss ghost, your Poltergeist 3000 gets pretty much full to bursting. But ho ho! I guess you show that boss ghost who's boss. But you lost communications with me. How did you know I was having a boss battle? Good job, Luigi! You made it back in one piece. Take a gander at this. This fine piece of work here took nearly 20 years to develop. I call it the Ghost Portrificationizer. This machine lets us go turn the ghost you catch into paintings. Not only that, it works in reverse, too. Hmm. How do you use it, we ask? Well, it's simple. Just plug that Poltergeist 3000 into that slot and enjoy the ride, my boy! Oh, like this? Oh, yeah, that's how it works. He looks so excited. The ghosts are invisible! So we need to... Press them into visible forms! And presto! Turn them into beautiful ghost portraits! Uh, Professor, I don't know what you're saying, but those do not look beautiful at all. They just look like zombie smurfs. Hmm. Well, we managed to turn those ghosts back into paintings. Thanks for your help, Luigi. Yeah. And Area 1 is now clear. We got Neville, who looks like somebody who off thornberries, Lydia, and Chauncey the baby. For a total of just three ghosts. But Area 1 is pretty small. We're going to find some more later on. And we did rack up a nice bit of currency. Not as much as I would have liked for, like, a first area. But, hey, there's going to be more time for that. Getting 2,650,000 gold is obviously very good. You can just buy a mansion. Um, let's see. I might as well just go back to the mansion. But I am going to stop the video right here. And in the next episode, I'll probably use the key that I just picked up to go through this door. See ya, everybody. Thanks for watching.